as stupid as it is, my outfits or what I wear, depending on a certain day, will either make or break my confidence. Before I even get started with this video, I wanted to thank Hollister for sponsoring this video. It has been an honor to work with them, and they rock. Anyways, when I was younger, maybe around like 11, 12, I didn't really care much about fashion. I didn't really care about what I wore. I just kind of wore things that my mom bought me. I didn't put much time and effort and energy into my outfits, and I feel like that's pretty normal for that age. But as I got older to like 13, 14, 15, I started realizing that what I wore was really important to me but the thing is that I didn't know how to dress I didn't know how to shop and it's something that I'm definitely still working on even now looking at old pictures to see just things that I used to wear and things that I would put together because it's something that I would never wear and never put together now my taste and my style has changed drastically I've come to the conclusion that there are for me at least certain rules that I wish that I knew when I was younger so for today's video I kind of wanted to talk about some things that I wish I knew when I was younger and things that I'm still working on and things that I'm still learning now about fashion and dressing and style and clothes and all that other junk. The first rule that I kind of came to the conclusion that is very important is that basics are very important to have, at least for me. Keep in mind throughout this whole video that this is just advice I would give my younger self, so take from this what you will, dog. Having basics like a few different colored pairs of jeans that I can wear over and over again, some really basic shirts like this black tube top and this black tank top. This is important to have because then you can mix and match all of these basics over and over again and pair them with a bunch of different stuff. This is also very important for shoes. For example, it even took me a long time to realize that I should probably get a pair of like just regular white tennis shoes that I can pair with a lot of different outfits. All of these clothes from Hollister I really liked because I can mix and match them in many different ways. So I don't really know how to transition this but basically um, here is me getting ready and talking more about clothes. So hi, I'm gonna put a shirt on. <laughs> What's up? Today is my sister's birthday, so I wanted to add a little get ready with me into this video and also just, why am I out of breath? And just kind of continue talking what I was talking about. I have a lot of things that I like wrote down that I wanted to talk about and I just didn't really know like how to talk about it. Like I didn't really know what footage to get if that makes sense. I just got out of the shower as you can see. So anyways, did I already say today's my sister's birthday? So I'm getting ready to go have dinner with my family and stuff to celebrate. video my main focus was mainly fashion and things that I wish I knew about fashion maybe I just think too much I really don't know thinking back to myself went like two years ago and just like the way that I used to dress it's so weird for me to see like how much I've changed for me it's like really dramatic because I've mentioned this so many times self-discovery and growth and stuff like that it's just so it's like it's such an important thing for me in this video I kind of wanted to give like advice not even advice just to you guys but advice I would give to my younger self but my first advice was to have have some basics like I think I mentioned I don't know <laughs> I didn't even have a pair of white tennis shoes that I could pair with anything until like a year and a half ago when I got my uh, superstars it was just like little things like that I just didn't have any basics I didn't have any just like plain black shirts or plain white shirts I didn't have any like go-to jeans these new Hollister jeans I know it's this video is sponsored by Hollister but I got three different pairs of jeans because they have really like nice denim out right now but the white jeans I got just the regular blue denim ones and then the darker denim ones are seriously becoming like my go-to jeans I did something I've never done before and I sized up in jeans recently I have really been liking the look of a little bit baggier pants and I'm very glad that I did because even though the size down would still fit me it's just not the most comfortable to have like super super like almost too perfect fitting jeans at least in my opinion so yeah I sized up one and I was very happy about that even if I like eat something I, it's, I never get to the point where I have to like unbutton my jeans um one thing I do wish though Hollister has super cute swimsuits right now um I'll insert some clips of them right here but I do wish I sized up in these I got a size small and I should have got a size medium to me at least it's important to have staples in my closet that I can just pair with so many different things. Another thing I wish I would have told myself is to mess around with color because I can and it's cute and it's fun. I've mentioned this 
too many times now, but I had like that black and white phase or blah blah blah. I spent too much money just on black and white clothes. I also had another phase like a year ago where I only wanted to wear like neutral colored clothes. So I got like a ton of just neutral colors. I don't know. And just after like after like a few days, I was so bored of it. At least for me now, it's important to keep a little bit of color, nothing crazy in my closet. And that's something I'm still working on because even now I have a lot of just black and whites in my closet and it's something that I'm still working on because I think color is really cute and it's fun. that I knew is that you do not have to stick to one style at all. It's so fun to like have different styles and like different types of outfits every day. I tried so hard to put myself in a box when I just didn't need to and then it just made me sad but like it was my fault for putting myself in the box but I just didn't really realize that's what I was doing. Even one of my last videos that I did with Ashley where I did like dressing according to my different moods and personalities or whatever, like I had so much fun doing that just because it's so fun to experiment with different styles and looks. I don't know. I don't know how many people can exactly relate to that struggle, but it's just something that I thought I would mention because it's definitely something that I would tell myself like a year ago or even six months ago. If anyone's wondering what blush I'm using, because I feel like a lot of people are going to ask, I have two cloud paints in the color uh, haze and beam and I mix them together and I think it makes the cutest color. So there you go. I also like putting this stuff on my lips. It surprisingly stays like longer than I thought it would. Kind of going along with that ish, another thing, I was talking to my friend Alex, who you guys all know and love. I was asking him for like advice that he would give his younger self. And one thing that he said was that it's okay to dress differently. Um, it's okay to be different. And I know that's so cliche. It really is true because Alex has a pretty different style, I would say. And it's also okay to dress basic. Do whatever you want, dog. It's all in good fun. Another thing that I struggle with that I kind of wanted to talk about because it's still something that I'm struggling with and I don't want to seem like I'm like fully perfect and that I've come over all of these issues over the years. I always will look at an outfit and be like, oh, that's really cute. I want to wear something like that. But I couldn't pull it off before I even tried like wearing it. But I was with my friends and I was telling him that I was kind of like struggling with like style and insecurity and stuff like that and he was like okay well what kind of stuff do you like to wear so I was showing him like my different Pinterest boards of style and stuff like that little side note having a Pinterest board with fashion inspiration really helps and I was showing him like all these different outfits and all my different fashion inspirations that I really like and oh I wanna I really like this outfit and these different styles blah 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 I don't know I just kept saying that like oh but I can never pull it off I can never pull it off I can never dress like that I can never do that and I don't know it's still something that I'm like struggling with but I just want you guys to know and I need to take my own advice when it comes to this you don't have to be a certain size to pull something off you don't have to look a certain way to pull something off if you like it and you feel confident in it then wear it. I don't know. It's hard not to like tell yourself negative things. Even just thinking that way and being like, oh, I couldn't do that or whatever. And then saying it out loud and having someone listen to that. I don't know. It just made me realize that like if I really want to do something, I can. It's truly just up to me. Um, and if I don't like the way that it looks, that's fine. But it doesn't mean I shouldn't try to dress a certain way just because I think that I couldn't. I don't know. That's definitely still something that I'm working on. But just thought I would share. I'm almost done with my makeup and then I'm gonna start on my hair but kind of the last thing that I wanted to say is that it's okay to dress different and I know I've kind of already said all this stuff I don't know I just think it's a good reminder that it's okay to dress how you want it's okay to wear what you want don't let other people judge you that's one thing that I had a lot happen to me is that I had people close to me kind of like judge what I wore and it definitely destroyed my confidence that it doesn't matter what other people think and I know it's so much easier said than done to realize that but it's so true that like it just does not matter what other people think the way dress doesn't affect anyone else but yourself so i'm gonna finish just a little bit last of my makeup and finish my hair and then i'll be ready to go so see you when the look is finished <laughs> you can go get your bone where's your bone go get the bone go get it hurry 
So this is my finished outfit that I'm going to dinner in. This shirt and these pants are from Hollister. This is just a random belt. I don't know where this is from. And then I have these cute gingham shoes just for like a little touch of color. Also, you probably can't really tell, but I cut my hair a little bit. I just put some layers in it. So the bangs are like not really back because they're not front bangs, but like, you know, I got those little... Will you come stand by me? <laughs> cute mommy. Hi, yes, noodles. Yeah. Hi, puppy girl. <laughs> that was the end of this video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. I hope it was somewhat helpful. Thank you to Hollister for sponsoring this video. They have really cute stuff for summer and spring coming up. They also have super cute swimwear like I showed you. So make sure to go check them out. If you want to see the specific pieces that I showed in this video, I will have links and codes and all that jazz down below. So if you would like to join the little Hollister conversation, you can hashtag your pictures with hashtag Hollister Collective. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go get some Chinese food with my family. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Swag. Make it last.